Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom collision mesh or something what you'd use in a game where you don't want to have to make collisions uh, every time within the engine so you can do it within your modeling program. So this is just a very basic example. All I've got is a cardboard box and you can see the edges and the sort of polygons that make up this mesh. Now, I don't want to say go into Unreal and make it uh, a sort of collision over the entire mesh or make it convex because we don't want extra points all over this because this is essentially a cube shape so we should be able to just have a collision. With this example um, it's better with something let's say more complicated because this you could just add a basic collider in Unreal but this is just to portray my example. So what I can do is with any object, if you, even if you've got a group of objects that were sitting in your scene that you might want to collide them all. So what I'm going to do is with any primitive shape or whatever you want to do, what I'm going to do is going to grab a box and I'm just going to just make it the size of my cardboard box roughly over the top, you can see it there. And from there you can see that it's just got a default color on it. What I need to do is make sure that this has the name corresponding to what my cardboard box is called. So if I click back on my box, go into the modifier, it's called C box. Now if I go back on my collision that I'm creating, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that to UCX underscore C box. And UCX underscore is just the sort of um, name definition that you're supposed to give to a collision. So once you've done that, you can have those two in your scene and from there what we're going to do is we'll leave those two there what I'll do is I'll go export export and I'm going to choose where to export my model if you're not using 3ds max it's very similar in any other modeling program you want to export out as and I will name this as just C box and I will save this and I will take a bid and bid media if you want to have your textures included and you'll want to include in geometry smoothing groups and then what we want to do is press OK and it will export those two models out. We'll go back into UE4 and then from there what I'm going to do is going to create a new folder in my content, call it let's say C box for now. Just for this example what I'm going to do is right click in there, um, choose new asset, import and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I have saved my model, so I'm going to import C box. Uh, we don't want to auto generate a collision, so we can untick that. We can import materials and textures if we want to, so we'll click import. You can see my object here. What I can do is I can bring this in, and I will drop it in my scene, and I can just scale it up for the purposes of this demo, let's say. And then you can see my box in my scene, and if we walk towards it, you will notice that there we go, we have the collision on the actual mesh itself. Now if we just go out of that, I can um, double click my model. Now if I view this in the inspector window and I show collision, you can see the purple around the purple bounding box is my collision that I've got on my object. So that's just a simple way if you need to and you want to bring in a custom collision no matter how complicated and it can save you the time or the level design of the time in the actual engine itself. So thanks very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, cheers.